I came to Israel in 1967 during the Six Day War. I guess I thought I was going to save Israel by working in a chicken house on a kibbutz. David was born in Israel. He was um, a very brilliant student and he studied at a music academic school. He used to play the French horn. He was like an ordinary young man. He liked to dance and drink and have fun and cook. He was part of the peace movement too. He was killed by a sniper in March of 2002. And it was such a waste. Losing a child is, it's beyond anything that I could understand. It's like, a big heart, a hole in your heart. The sniper didn't kill David because he was David. He killed him because he was a symbol of an occupying army. The question is, what do you do with all this? Do you go out on a path of revenge? Or do you behave in the way that you always have behaved and do the things that you believe in? We are a group of 500 families of Palestinians and Israelis who have all lost immediate family members in the conflict. During 2004, we spoke to nearly 800 classrooms. It's terribly important to take away the demonization from each side. Palestinian kids have never met an Israeli out of uniform. Israeli kids have never seen a Palestinian not on television who happens to be from the extreme. And when we go to talk as Palestinians and Israelis in one voice, that's the most powerful message that we can bring. And when we know that mothers and brothers and sisters and wives and husbands are exactly the same, the tears are the same colour.